All right, the next bit of news, this is beauty based, uh, which may or may not impact expats. So the first one is step feed. Uh, this one is 30th July 2019, which uh, kind of portrays Dubai in a not so positive light. Uh, what it's saying is the city of Dubai is losing its charm, which you know used to be there to attract travelers. And in this article, it kind of focuses more about the Jumeirah Group, which is cutting 500 uh, jobs because they are struggling with its occupancy levels and with the revenues that they're getting. It is the lowest since 2009. Uh, you also have projects, multiple projects being cancelled, especially the one being highlighted with Six Flags, uh, which uh, Dubai Entertainment had to pay 7.5 million US dollars uh, to Six Flags uh, for the fallout. Uh, the reason for this is because Dubai Entertainment was losing 58, uh, had, had lost $58.7 million uh, in the first quarter of the year. Just imagine $58.7 million um, they lost in the first quarter of the year as reported by Bloomberg. Uh, to combat this, the government has you know, uh, started lots of various uh, initiatives like lowering business fees, uh, visa changes, relaxing the rules, issuing long-term visas for individuals, which is a gimmick, uh, new residency laws, then uh, allowing dependents to work because they know that if an expatriate finds it very hard, they're going to send uh, their relatives back home, which many people are doing. Now they don't want their relatives to be there because, you know, it's no point being in a country that is not predictable or is doesn't have a long-term vision to support its people there. Uh, they have also uh, started, you know, tourists can buy and drink their own alcohol because many people who are coming down now are budget strapped and uh, they're lowering uh, travel and stay fees, including uh, charging hotels. Uh, you know, they have canceled a lot of fees. So hotels find it profitable to operate. Uh, however, what I look at it as is um, whatever you did in the past um, is going to show, you know, after six months to a year. And then correction takes another one to two years to actually move into fruition. So uh, all this that you're doing is not going to help right now. It's going to, um, you know, the effect is going to show or the impact is going to show after one to two years. Um, the next one is uh, Dubai developer. Here's, uh, this is Seven Tides. They have uh, kind of offering uh, that if you're a buyer, you buy their property. Um, they will pay the school fees for a year. Now, before you jump and say, wow, see, you know, they're doing this amazing stuff. Let me give you the reality. Uh, Arabian Business reports that Seven Tides is a Dubai developer. It is giving this exclusive promotion uh, in collaboration with Dubai Heights Academy uh, in the Palm Project. Uh, they'll pay your school fees for a year. Now, the thin red line, sorry, the fine print is number one is they will pay only for one child. So if you have two, three children, sorry, you just pay for this one child. The second caveat is, second problem is, they are offering it in a school that is, yay, it is, okay, British uh, curriculum, English curriculum, UK government, and uh, all these fancy, fancy stuff, good. But it's only from uh, stage one to stage six. So year one to year six. What do you do beyond that? Okay. The third one is, uh, which is the biggie, the real big bad news is the apartment pricing starts at $751,000. That's close to a million. So you pay a million just to, you know, the benefit you'll get is you pay some thousands to send your child to school. Do you think that's attractive enough? And if you thought that was, you know, stupid, the the climax of the whole article is the apartments are not ready. They will be ready. They will be ready in the third quarter of 2020. That means uh, next year, somewhere after six months or nine months, next year after nine months, that is a total of, uh, how do I put it? Uh, say 20 months. After 20 months, the apartments will be, may be ready. So you pay the money now. You can move in next year that is almost after two years and we will send one of your child to school so i i look at this as a gimmick as stupidity because if you're going to spend a million you might as well 
put your child for something worthwhile and in a school that has not one to six, one to all the way to 12 or high school and beyond. I look at this as a gimmick. I look at this as a failed publicity stunt. And, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's be real here. When you come out with these promotions, which are like never heard of, they rarely or they seldom succeed. It's like offering something which is not normal and you begin to scratch your head and wonder like, what the fuck? I mean, so anyway, this is another gimmick. Oh, talking about properties, one of the biggest reasons why purchasing an apartment in UAE is always a headache is this one. Dubai tenants are left sweating because the air conditioning system in this massive tower is not working. Nice little image by Carrefour. Dear customers, we apologize for the high temperature due to the maintenance issues in this building. Just imagine you have spent millions, got this nice little apartment, and now the AC is not working. And when you have central AC, what do you do? You can't repair it because the building has to repair it. So if you had a AC unit, at least that would work. I just, yeah, for the life of me, I'm trying to figure out. You stay in this apartment, you have a central AC that doesn't work. So what do you do? You buy another unit. And if you buy a unit, where does it fit? How do you make it work? So this is one of the reasons why, you know, I always tell people in the Middle East, you have these rules that just don't make sense you know and even if they have rules you can't implement them so hun you know hundreds of people uh, in this apartment in this massive tower are left without an ac and in dubai it gets fucking 50 degrees that's a hundred and you know 10 degrees fahrenheit it's you, you can literally fry a fucking egg man it's it's so fucking hot outside okay uh, next one, Gulf News. This is 7th uh, August. Minor offences, Dubai police chief says. Minor offences, small offences. We will pardon it. And they have given a promotional offer. Uh, let's say you committed a crime. And uh, then for three months, you don't commit any problems. 25% discount. Six months, no problem. 50%. Nine months, 75%. One year, you don't make a discount. Uh, don't make any problems. We will cancel your fines. That is only small fines. So... In another way to look at it, they want you to drive safely, which is okay, but uh, I don't know how far it work. Uh, next one, uh, sticking to UAE, rewarding, giving rewards. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, a driver got a free car. He got a free car because now police have started white points. Black points is you do bad things. White points is you do good things. So the Dubai police have uh, delivered this brand new car. To a local Chokul's house, Saif Al Suedi, who won a prize, nice little small car for his family. He received this car even though he was out of the country, so his family received the car. So good. I hope uh, many expatriates also get free cars. Um, this is only one person out of seven million people. Anyway.